Nice to see you. It's Miss Amanda from the Capuchu Parish Public Library. And today we're going to take note of our next letter, the newsworthy and much needed letter N. This is an uppercase N, and this is a lowercase N. The letter N makes a neat sound. N. Can you repeat that with me? N. N. Nice work. Now get your fingers and hands ready. We're going to learn how to say in in American Sign Language. This one's a little tricky. It has a couple parts. We're going to lower two fingers while keeping two fingers lifted. Now we're going to place our thumb and then lower those two lifted fingers in. Let's try that one more time. In. Novel work. Let's practice those n sounds with a fun finger play. It's called noisy nails. I use my hammer and five nails. Can you hold up five fingers? That's too noisy, my neighbor yells. Can you yell? Too noisy. I'll hammer before it's night. So to my neighbor, I can be polite. Can you do a bow? Great. Now that we know how the actions go, let's repeat the rhyme one more time. I use my net hammer and five nails. That's too noisy, my neighbor yells. Can I hear your yell? Wonderful. I'll hammer away before it's night. So to my neighbor, I can be polite. Now using that finger play, we can play a game. We have some images. We have the hammer and five nails. We have the neighbor that yells because there's too much noise. And we have hammering away before it's night. And then a sign of being polite. The game is to scramble all these images and try to put them back in the order that the little rhyme goes. This is called sequencing. Let's put the story in order. We have night, noise, nails, and polite neighbor. So how do we fix this story? What did we start with first? First we had nails and a hammer. What happens next? When we used our nails and hammer, there was too much noise. Great work. What do we do about the noise? We finish hammering before it is night. Now, to finish the story, we're polite neighbors. Now you can scramble it all again. You can use any images from any story and let the kid put the cards in order and let them tell the story in their own words. It's fun to see what they come up with and they are learning that stories have beginnings, middles, and ends, which will come in handy when they learn to read and write. It's story cube craft time. You will need scissors, ruler, paper or poster board, and any kind of tape. You'll also need six squares, from your paper or poster board, glue, and images. Your images can be from drawings, printouts, junk mail, ads, coloring pages, anything you have available. Once you have your materials, measure the square size you would like and cut out. I wanted a jumbo size. Repeat this process for six squares. Next, use any tape on hand to connect the inside of the cube together. Start with your base and then tape along all the inside seams. Paste the last square on top and then seal all the edges of your cube with some more tape. Any will do. I used a little bit of a decorative tape and this will give it some sturdiness. Glue your images and maybe add text to each side. Labeling images helps improve print awareness and vocabulary skills. Here's the story cube and an example of how it works. I used letters that begin with N, so you could do any theme. And this way we can build vocabulary and get used to the letter N. So we're gonna do our first roll. Take a roll, 
We have nachos. That's our first word. Now, we're making a story, so we need a few more words. Let's see. Let's roll it one more time. What's that? Night. Okay. Now, one last time. Let's use three words to make up a story. Noise. So we have nachos, night, and noise. Can you make up a story about nachos, night, and noise? Maybe there was a party where everybody ate so many nachos and they were having so much fun and dancing. There was so much noise until night. Can you make up a story? That's an awesome story. You can flip and begin again. You can use any theme to make your story cute. You can use story characters and you can use items in the story or vocabulary words. Talking and playing games builds vocabulary and background knowledge, which helps with reading comprehension. Thanks so much for stopping by Pierre's Learning Corner. Now we're going to say goodbye by singing and signing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Have a great evening.